Yeah. So the um, the it, it's just not uh, it, and it's been busted for a long time. Okay, uh, and sure. we've just sort of been limping along with it. Right. It it can get stuck, uh -huh. and so we have this sort of ridiculous little thing that we can just get in the door. Yeah. Um, so it's basically held by the deadbolt. Right. Uh, sure. Sure. I'm not I'm not the handiest guy in the world, so that's right. why I you know, need a little help. Sure. Um, so I guess we just need this sorted. You know. So it, right. it uh so if we take that off, yeah. when you when you um, when it's closed, it doesn't mm -hmm. go in far enough. Mm -hmm. um, so I. I I expect it just needs to be replaced, and it can also get stuck where it'll go down maybe a quarter way and stop. You know, everything there. everything has a useful life, and yeah. I think we found it. Yeah, and that that there is a an interchange mechanism there that a mechanical engineer could probably tell us about. Sure, that pulls it forward, and here on the back side, that um, it's just the it's a tab is failing. Yeah, but um, let's uh, let's get a replacement here. It uh, you, we can go with any color. You want the uh, the gold or brushed nickel because you've got both here. Um, the uh, I guess we'll stick with that to match that. That's that's fine. Okay, so we'll go with the gold. Or or um, what what do you call that? I'm not sure what to call it. Brass, bronze. Bronze. Something I like that better. Okay. Uh, so yeah, get that sort of. We need new keys. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I can have that rekey. Okay, that would be great. That would be yeah. ideal. Sure. Um, okay, so there's that. Now, your keys probably go to the front and the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the, um, you can leave the shoes on. Not That's good. fine. I'm kind of halfway committed. Right. So, uh, um, the, the other one is a couple years ago we had a break in, so it's right. doors front and back. Yeah. Um, and we just never got it fixed. Sure. Um, so we'd like to, you know, get the weather stripping fixed, okay. get the get the door frame sure. sorted out. Arrow. And then okay. I think the door itself is is pretty pretty messed up as well. Um, you know, when they get to this point of almost being shattered here mm -hmm. in your jams and casings, that it it gets to the point where probably the only thing we could do is to put in a new pre hung door. Okay. And um, that's what we quote. I'll tell you that the full views, like you have here, they are uh, they're roughly a couple hundred bucks a piece. Okay, that's fine. And um, let me see. I'll get a measurement so we'll know which one to bring. Do you want the mullions, or you want it just just that's your this taste and preference? Um, because you've got a 32 inch door here, and uh, I think we'll just replace it with what you know, same as what we got. Same as what, so you want the mullions inside, okay? Mm -hmm. Unless that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. If they don't have for some reason, the clear is fine as okay. well. Okay. Uh, and then I guess the, the most significant is mm -hmm. we'd like to get those can lightings sort of throughout the kitchen. Um, I don't know how many. Um, uh, but basically, we're, we'd like to get rid of the, mm -hmm. the fluorescence mm -hmm. and put in, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, Two, three, four, I don't know what the mm -hmm. appropriate count is. You can sort of help me out there. Oh, a lot of that depends upon the wattage you're going to stick in these guys because this one is more of an accent light for this area of your uh -huh. kitchen. And um, the bulb here is um, just diffusing. It's also got a color in it so that it's kind of amber mm -hmm. and less daylight. But um, usually folks like lots and lots of light in kitchen. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dark in here right now. So, um... I mean, also, if you have any... Are you, you know, moving? Um, are you moving? No, not for a while. You're not moving, okay. We'll be here for a while. The, the, the thing I want to do is, is let's be reasonable with the dollars you're putting into it because... If, if, if the can lighting doesn't make sense, track lighting... Um, well, that's what I was else, I was leaning towards know. because if we pull this guy down, we've got a little bit of ceiling painting to do. It's hard to match that color. What I'm hoping is that we can get close enough, and I'm going to tell you it's probably not going to be spot on. And right. then you end up painting from here all the way out there. If so we're actually having uh, painting done throughout the house. Okay. So we're we're renovating a, a number of sure, things. That's Carpet right. and paint sure, okay. and a couple of things that were, we, we own a property in, in Atlanta that we just mm -hmm. recently sold. And it's like, yeah. oh, well, you know, we'll spruce up Get, okay, our, sure, our, the place sure. we actually live um, <clears throat> a little bit. Okay, let me go through you. Um, how, where do you turn that light on and off? Uh, it's actually over here. Is that the only light, the only switch? <laughs> That's the only switch you have for this one. Okay. This one, the ballast is actually dead, but it's it's um. Uh, okay, but but you got. Um, 
And this is per preferable for main kitchen line. And they don't need to be hooked up. Uh, they don't need to be, uh, they go on together or anything like that. Um, I'll tell you what I see <clears throat> is if, if I look at that ceiling, I see rafter tails, meaning uh -huh. lines going left and right. And with that information, I'm going to assume it continues into this part of the house. It doesn't look like your rafters are falling on this wall. It shouldn't be. It should be running that way. But I, I, don't, I don't know the plan how it's built. Uh -huh. But um, what I want to be able to do is pull Romax parallel to a rafter and not have to cut and cut and cut. I mean, we have devices we can use. It's, you know, basically, we got long drills on four foot. Um, and basically it is flexible steel that, that will go up into the furthest hole and then push it through and then when it goes all the way to the end you tie the room to the end of it and pull it back through mm -hmm. so you don't have to tear up the entire ceiling but um, with this guy here um, the mechanics is to remove it you put in your track of your four foot or your six foot and then you point them where you want them to go and you put as many up there as you want. Otherwise, um, probably having light in the front so that your head doesn't shadow forward, that you would want something falling here or maybe something falling here mm -hmm. and then maybe something falling in this area here and then if you want like the complementary one, two, and three mm -hmm. in this area. Okay that um, usually these run about 150 bucks a piece okay. is to pop these guys in and, and I mean it, it a lot of depends upon what the rafters are going to let us do but uh, that it will be half okay. that to give you some ideas okay sure so is there probably let's give you a quote for both and you tell me because I'm going to make the suggestion to you know one two and three four five and six uh, if that meets your expectations. Yeah, um, I think that I think that makes sense. Um, the 